Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Get Daved, celebrating our 50th Let's Play video in this series with a very happy event. Everyone's dead. All right, time to pick the party. Uh, I think for reasons I won't get into, Ayla's important to bring along for the next area. And let's bring Robo, because we have not been using him much. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. And Robo should be in charge, because he's the funnest looking. And I have some serious doubts about Ayla being in charge. She was a very capable leader in her own time period, but, uh, I don't think she can read. Alright, I'm gonna give, uh... Oh, Robo, you have so many shortcomings. I'm gonna give him the blue mail. Uh, everybody else I'm gonna keep relatively the same, I think. Maybe we'll just lo have Frog lose the dash ring, uh, just because it's slightly better than uh, what everybody else was using. We still have the silver stud available, and the, you know, we got a lot of good stuff available. I think I'm still going to put him on uh, just the bandana as a placeholder. Robo needs to be faster. And again, late in the game, he gets uh, a pretty good weapon, but uh, or a pretty good, sorry, item that permanently increases his stats, but... Uh, no more magic for you guys. Alright, so we need to get a moonstone, and we need to turn it into a sunstone. Bye? He's just got the basics right now. Uh, I will invest in a couple full tonics. Aside from that, I'm pretty happy with my general stocks. There's a tab behind him. I forget how... Like, you just have to wait in here for him to leave. Um... I forget when it is that he walks away. Like, there's some sort of event in the story you have to complete. We've got our time machine if we need it, but uh, let's just go looking around here. That was a quick turnaround. That's good. At least the Ice Age is over. Alright, welcome to the depressing 12,000 BC- oh, what? King Dalton. Those purple thrasher-like enemies, don't you worry about them. Power Rangers assemble! I like how he's such an egomaniacal guy. Oh, this guy knows how to lead. <laughs> Good work, Robo. Yeah, we'll get another shot at him. Come on, Robo. There we go. Now we've got Ayla along with us. Hmm? And our money. Yeah, we've got Ayla with us so uh, she can fight unarmed. Uh, she has no def equipment still, so her defense is zero, and we have nothing we can equip because our, uh, items have been taken as well. But, uh... We're inside the Blackbird, which survived the destruction of Zeal. So, there's a couple things you can do to break out. I will, uh... Do the one that requires more stealth. 
you can bang on the door until uh, they get, you get their attention, but let's just deal with this as if you don't have Ayla. Because if you don't have Ayla, you cannot fight. It's too bad. I think, like, Robo fighting with his bare fists, I think, would still be pretty effective. Let's take a look in here. Alright, the Blackbird has a pretty simple design. If you want to check things out, you can always just peek down from here. Uh, first things first, you got to get one person's equipment back. These uh, bits or bites or whatever you want to call them. Alright, if we didn't have Ayla, I would have just messed up. Sorry, everybody. These enemies are terribly weak, so you don't have to worry about them at all. Well, let's open this chest. Got Ayla's equipment back. Alright, that doesn't really change things. There is one chest that is totally unguarded. Um, just gotta find a way to find it. This would not be the one. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Every one of these encounters would be uh, sending you back to your cell if you botched it. Tailspin is an attack Ayla can use, hits everybody nearby her. Pretty good for a situation like this. Alright. Now we're gonna take a minute. Ah, dang it. And the thing is, she's the only one getting all those experience points then. That makes me upset. So let's take a look around. If you want to find your equipment, here's the best way to do it. Run around the inside and just start looking in window or ceiling vents. Eventually you'll find a room where there's one guy sleeping by a treasure chest. It's not going to be this one. This is the one inside the room? Nope. Not terribly helpful, that. If you want to go up to the section above, I think you might have to go through the doors. Or, like, I think we might have to access via the bottom floor. Nope. Alright, let's keep looking around. That's our cell right there. There's no equipment in there. That's a room that's just got guards in it. This is the lucky one, I think. Yep. Alright, so we run down this ladder, open the chest, and now we got Robo kicking again. And let's put this guy down. Welcome back to Let's Put This Guy Down. Problem solved. Boogie. Robo and Ayla like to boogie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, now the question is just Luca's gear, our items, and our money. They're still all scattered in tre treasure chests throughout. Also, if you come back way later, there's a tab here. So, to find our gear, the easiest way is just to start at the bottom of the blackbird and work your way up. Now that I found you the gear that you don't need any fighters for, I don't feel bad about just muscling my way up to the top, so that's what we're gonna do. I wouldn't really recommend fighting those guys, the little guardian bits there. They, uh, they don't really give you that much of a reward, and they're a bit harder to kill. I think this is our money in here. At 10 MP, I really shouldn't be using this move too much, but it's so quick.
Or is this all of our gear? Got money back. Well, I'm not terribly interested in that. That's probably the easiest one to recoup. Bites have about 200 hit points, but fair, slightly higher defense, so the defense is actually right at the inconvenient amount. Basically just past what you can do in one hit. Alright. So, we'll kill these guys, but uh, the outcome of that fight will have to wait till next video. I'll see you guys there on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Oh, maybe we got enough time. Alright, I'll see you guys next